Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. I want to bring you guys a tutorial. Like I said, I like to bring you some of the stuff that I'm studying. And in my Elliott Wave book right now, we are studying the zigzag formation, the breakdown. So guys, first of all, if you could like, subscribe, all that, I really appreciate you being here because I know the people who are watching this video, they're the people who really want to learn, guys. A lot of people love the clickbait and stuff like that, but you who click on this, you are the people I'm proud of. So you know what? I'm just... I'm thankful to be here with you guys and what I'm going to do, we're going to walk through this here a little bit and then I'm going to read it's one page from my book explaining this because I want you guys to have the textbook like actual definition and, and what this entails read to you. Okay, so guys, this is the 535 zigzag breakdown. So we're coming down here. We're in a downtrend and our wave here. We have a one, a two a three, four, and five, just like when you're going up, because you have to remember we're in a downtrend here, these are impulse waves. So this wave five down, and then what you have from there, you have that reaction or the correction, an A, B, C, that's against the overall trend that's coming down, right? So that's why I said sometimes you can catch these, say, you know, Litecoin or whatever is at $80, and you could be buying at $80 and then have a reaction back up to, you know, say 120, 130. And if you know it's just a reaction, you could pull out then. And that's a nice little gain that you can make just off the reactions after big drops. So pay attention to them, guys. So downward wave, one, two, three, four, five. Then we had our correction A, B, C. And then from there we had our A, or I'm sorry, our one, two, three, four, five. And the overall big picture of this correction, guys, is A, B, and C. So this was your A, your B, and then your C. All right? So, and these are the arrows I had pointing for you guys, just so you know. So that B wave, that was your against the trend. That was your reaction there. Okay? So I'm going to read this to you guys. Bear with me. But I think it's something really important to, to learn. So the zigzag formation, the simplest form of all the corrective waves is the zigzag, its name adequately, adequately describing its shape. The particular formation provides an ideal model to which other corrective formations can be related. The zigzag in its simplest form consists of a downward drive that corrects an existing uptrend. Interrupted by a rally. The size of the rally is limited to the golden ratio integer of 61815. The wave B rally of the ABC zigzag should therefore never exceed 62% of the amplitude of wave A. Wave C of the zigzag in its idealized form would be of the same approximate dimensions of a wave A in size and duration. Okay, so it's going to be similar to what this wave A is there, if that makes sense. After the completion of the fifth and final wave of a major bull market spanning a period of say two or three years and guys remember crypto is a lot faster because it's 24 hours so some things when they say two or three years here it might be a year or it might be eight months in the crypto space so always remember that the corrective down wave will begin if the corrective down wave takes the form of a zigzag it can then be broken down into its intermediate and minor cycles the idealized formation of the breakdown will appear as in figure 30 so that's what i drew out for you guys was figure 30 that they're showing as you can as can be seen from the idealized di diagram the breakdown of waves to the cycle of the next larger degree has a 535 count. The intermediate trends wave A and wave C are downward, while wave B is an intermediate uptrend, assuming the formation is acting to retrace a bull market of normal dimensions. Wave A of the formation is taken on the characteristics of an impulse wave since it is directional, moving in the same direction of the overriding trend. So that's what we were talking about earlier. Wave A has five subwave components, as would the characteristics of any directional impulse wave. So it's the same if you're going up, guys. Wave B of the movement is counter to the overall trend. This wave B is therefore corrective rather than directional. Wave B is acting to correct the ground covered by wave A as a corrective wave. Wave B has three components, A, B, and C of the cycle of the next lower degree. Wave B has taken the form of an in inverted zigzag. If we were to break up the A, B, and C wave components of wave B, 
to the cycle of the next lower degree, which does not appear on the diagram, we would have a 535 count, the basic count of all subwaves of a corrective wave. Okay, so guys, that's all we're going to get into there. Just reading that one page. Like I told you, this book is so in depth. It goes so deep in, into so many different things. I mean, even right now, we're talking about corrective phases and smaller waves. So we're going over the zigzag, the flat, the irregular corrections, and then we were just doing the 535 zigzag breakdown. So I wanted to bring this to you all. I hope you can uh, like it and subscribe, all that. And I want to continue to just do small tutorials, different things like that. So we'll see where all this leads, guys. And I've thought about two in the future, not now, because I got a lot of stuff going on and I want to continue to learn. But putting together a little course for people for like $50 that I really think could help save people money of some of the mistakes that I made. And what we, we would do, we'd be going through all different things that I've learned. Japanese candlesticks, we do trend lines, Fibonacci, MACDs, histograms, RSIs, all that different stuff, looking at channeling, a little bit into the Elliott Wave, all that stuff that I wish that I knew when I was starting into this that could have you know, made me more money or saved me money. And I think it'd be well worth the money for you guys. So that's down the road, but I just wanted to uh, let you know that that was something that was on my mind and I want it to be something that's affordable because I know it's really hard for people like me when I got into this, I didn't have a ton of money and I needed to put that money into investments as opposed to other things. It when in all actuality, I should have educated myself as much as I could and then made the investments. So that's where, you know, just life lessons and things that I've learned, I really think could uh, benefit you for for a good good fair value. So guys, God bless each and every one of you. I hope you're having a wonderful day and take care.